Welcome back, everybody. We are now on day 11 and we are going to be using these. So the first exercise that we're going to do, we're doing the same format, 40, 20. So we're going to bring these water bottles down, come into a squat. We're going to swing them up and bring them behind our head. So what you can do is just have them together because it will make them more stable and easy to take behind and bringing them all the way forward. So we're going to start with that move. Do your checklist, shoulders, core, bring it down. All the way down, flip it over into those triceps and back down. So keep your arms straight until they're over your head. Now, as you swing forward, just watch your body is not coming with you. So the body stays upright. There, there, that's the move. See, if you start talking, you might mess things up. All the way down and watch that squat because I know you're doing a forward movement, but watch you're really sitting back. So you're not bringing your weight back and taking your weight off your heels because you're swinging it. There we go. Last one. Good, bring it down. So we're gonna keep the bottles and we're gonna do a bit for your back now. So we're coming into a lunge and now we're not gonna keep our body upright. We're gonna bring it slightly forwards. So we're keeping that kind of diagonal line of the body. I'm engaging my core. I'm gonna roll it up, change legs. So we bring it up, change. And if you want to do it a little bit faster, you can do a tiny jump. But I want you to really watch that you're bringing your elbows in, so you're kind of squeezing your back together, but watching that the shoulders don't come up with it. So I think it's almost going down and back, then change. Just keep on going, bring it all the way back. Watch that back is straight. Jump it a little bit if you want. There we go. Remember to breathe. And we have six more seconds. There. Last one. Well done, just breathe. So, next one. We are coming down. So now, instead of doing frog and a plank like we've done, we're just gonna twist it. So we're bringing the knee to the opposite elbow and taking it back into a downward dog. So we go, cross, walk it slightly back and press. Come with me. Cross, walk it back, press your chest through. So we're just coming into that downward dog. All the way back. Ah. So feel that really nice stretch. There, press your chest through. Try to get your heels down. And as you come forward, watch that you're dropping your hips. Engaging that core, all the way back. Ah, so just enjoy that nice second of stretch. Ah, so almost done, there we go. Ah, just come all the way up. Shake everything a little bit. Now we're coming into a squad. We're gonna stay in the squad and we're just gonna pulse. So we're coming into a narrow squad. So a straight squat. From there, we're just gonna move our weight onto our heels and open it up. So we're going from, come with me, squat to a white squat. So we're trying not to come up in between and then go down. We're just gonna stay down. So if this really starts to burn, which you should, and you find it a bit too much, then just come up for a second and shake it, and then come back down. And now the whole time I'm watching that my weight is still going backwards. So I'm not coming forwards with those knees and trying to do it this way, which is impossible. So get it onto your heels, and your weight is always on your heels. There we go. Ah, Come up and shake it. So you should really burn, and that is what we want. Now, last one that we're gonna do is a burpee. So we've done a walking burpee, we've done a burpee where we jump back and stand up. But now we're gonna jump back and jump up. So we're coming here, here. Okay, go down, jump it, jump it up. Now as you jump up, it's the same as a squat jump. You go through, hands come down, jump it back, heels are down, then jump it up. So really watch, you're not going too far down. Keep that bum up, keep that squat. 
So literally think you're jumping back into a squat. You're jumping back into a squat. So think you're just doing a little bit of funny body lengthenings with squats in between. Then it's easier to get into that right position. There. Ah. Well done, everybody. So just take a short break. Well, you have 20 seconds, so you get those. So have some water if you want, and we're going again. So first one, get those bottles again, and we're coming into that flip. So checkpoints again, shoulders back, core engaged. And we go, bring it down, all the way up, flip. So this is the same when we've been down, just keep on going and doing this. So what we're trying to do is keep the core engaged. So not get this. So as you come up, you don't want to be like that. So we're keeping that core in, keeping it in. As we come down, the body is straight. The torso doesn't come forwards. And just down into that squat. And as you do it, just watch your squat is open. So don't have it here. Last one. There we go. Okay, next one. We're coming into those rows. So you know the time now. You know how much you can do. We've been doing this for days. So we're coming into that lunge, just bringing it up. So really think you're feeling it in your back. There. Lift it. Just change. Bring it back. So watch that line that you're not coming here. I'm keeping it. If you do that, you're going to feel it eventually because it's going to hurt your back. So try to keep that line and just slowly switch it. So I'd rather you be higher up than too far down. So then with time, you can just work on bringing it further down. That's fine. There we go. It's a few more. So you have eight more seconds. Keep on bringing it back. Just keep on breathing. Last one. There. These down. We're coming all the way down into that plank. So every time you come from that downward dog, just watch that you're really bringing your hips down so we get that core. So don't keep the bum up and just walk your hands forwards. Into that plank. And we go. Cross it. Really push it back. Weight on your heels. As far as you can go, bring it back. So you can take a bit of time in that stretch. There, drop that bum. So don't have it here. Don't start doing it like that. There, drop it. And bring it all the way back. Uh, and just really enjoy it. So this shouldn't be always horrible and hard and difficult. So try to enjoy what you're doing. And just try to enjoy this feeling. Last one. Well done. So really try to enjoy the feeling of how your body is doing when it's working out. You make it quicker and tighter and stronger. And just with the feeling that comes with it, and not just long term, not just to think, get ready for the pulses. Go with me, and I'll keep on talking. Not just to think long term, I'm gonna feel like I'm gonna be like this or feel like this an X amount of time. Just think how you're feeling now and how you're gonna feel after you finish this. And also, just from the point of view of you saying that you were gonna do this and then doing it. And just the amazing feeling of that, of doing what you said you were gonna do for yourself. And that is what you're doing now. So even if it's really burning right now, keep on going with just a few more seconds. Three, two, one. Well done. So shake it. We just have one more. Just the burpees. Easy. 40 seconds of burpees. So the same thing. If there's anything you find too difficult to do or you feel like you can't fully do it, just break it down. Walk it down. So then just come here. Walk it down, jump it up if you want, or just stand up. If not, jump it with me. 
There we go. So as you jump it back, think of that needle. It cannot touch your core. So don't drop it down. Into that squat, my heels sit down, jump it through. There, there, keep it going. And if you're getting tired, count. Just think. Okay, I'm gonna do one more. Last one, I'm finished in that. Well done, everybody. You're done for the day. Give yourself a pat on the back and I'll see you tomorrow.